Hello everyone, this is a video about this USB tester and you know I am not very keen to have the old top of the range, top of the model uh, I just wanted to have something that is capable of doing stuff that I wanted to do and the brand name of this tester, USB tester is Maker Fire and nothing on here and on here it just says tester and at the bottom it just well, gives you some pictures of stuff you know gadgets and here is the item itself and very kindly I, I just put this aside and it says new but it's not new uh, this has been in the market for more than four years but I don't know maybe they have updated it and uh, all the scratches that you see is the plastic on the top it is at the bottom it doesn't have any plastic but it has plastic and this is the USB uh, type C to type C I show you how it works and this is the item itself it says make fire and then we have normal usb here and then here is the type c out type c in and then from here when you have some um, power bank or power brick uh, connected to this from here you can get out uh, get the micro usb out and from here you have a uh, USB, normal USB here, but it looks like a type B micro USB, but I don't think so because those are rather expensive as well. Anyway, the price of this before I forget is about 17 pounds and um, the delivery was fast and everything was good. And here we have four buttons and we are going to explore them rather uh, later on and see how it works. But it's really good. The display is, is large. I just put this here and then we are going to have a look at this. And it says model number N10. But believe me, I typed N10. USB tester and I couldn't find this anywhere on YouTube or uh, eBay or Google and this is the user manual that it comes with it and these are the parameters of this you can pause it is a lot actually uh, you can pause and read at your leisure but the only thing that uh, the only limitation that it comes with this is just maximum of three amps. Other than that, you can measure up to uh, 30 volts. And just the limitation of three amps is not really good for those uh, connoisseurs that you want, they want to uh, get the most out of this current curve range 3 amps and that's it and here it talks about all the buttons and everything that you see here it says it just says multifunction buttons and it doesn't really uh, explain what they do but on top of it is it says something very gently and this is a display is telling you what each of these display colors they are gonna do for you it's really basic and those two buttons at the bottom is just one of them is the color tfl and usb tester and this one is the next one of them is help the other one is next and if you press and hold any of these buttons, uh, they are going to uh, function another uh, uh, 
mode that this one is capable of. And it says everything here. You can pause it and read it. And then here is another one that it tells you if you want to have different sort of uh, functionality from this, you can read it. It's a lot. I'm not going to read and bore you with this. I'm just going to do a quick, dem quick demonstration and that's really it. And this is the system settings that it comes on the display if you want to go after one minute off or off uh, or on all the time and the brightness and the option between Fahrenheit and Celsius and that's it and here is it just shows you the graph of amperage and the graph of uh, voltage so you can pause and read this part as well. Most of them, they are not coming with this instruction manual. And then here you have some sort of uh, uh, functionality that you can uh, check the uh, resistance on your cables. Uh, that's it. So now let's check it out to see how it works i just put these there so i have this power bank cristonio that i have a video about this if you want you can go and check it out it's a very capable uh, uh, power station because it has the capability of power delivery as well so DC in is for charging and then it has one type C that we are going to use that one with this and then two more. All of these, they are capable of power delivery, but this one is much more efficient than these two. And with this one, you can run your laptop and, uh, you know, uh, router in, in uh, modem in case of power cuts. So one of the reasons that I purchased this is for traveling and camping that I'm not doing uh, at all, but this is mainly for power cut. And uh, it's really heavy and good. Anyway, let's, let's check this out. And remember, if you are checking the uh, um, type C connector, uh, it doesn't show anything unless you put a load in there. So I just put it in here and turn it on. So it's on. And then as you see, it's not showing anything, but I, I just have this uh, USB LED to just show it to you if it's going to work. We just do this and turn it on let's see if it does I'm afraid I have to connect something to the micro USB okay let's uh, abandon this and go with this but with the USB uh, it just comes on and then uh, it works like so, it just shows you the uh, milliamp hour and the amperage and the voltage requires and the direction of the flow of the energy that is coming from here and goes there. So let's just finish that. And then this is the help that you press and it asks, uh, in, tells you what to do with this help button and it's just long press to rotate the screen left long press to rotate the screen right long press to clear the data uh, group data long press to change the data group okay and then uh, with the next we go back here and then the next is the milliamp hour if you want to check 
uh, for instance, the capacity of your power bank or, or all of that, and it can record and uh, save all of that information. And then the next is just the cable resistance check. And then the graphs that how much electricity is coming into this. Okay, I have to turn this on because there were no uh, let me just turn this back on. Yeah, we were here and you see it remembers and this is the, um, we turn this on to avoid the power station or power bank to go off. And that's the next is the amperage. And the next is the settings that I mentioned. And the next going back to the normal settings. So the reason that I have purchased this, is it was because I wanted to check if I can, uh, I put this here as well, if I can get more than uh, 12 or 19 volt out of something. And here I have my, uh, mobile phone and some cables here just to just to show you for instance this cable I wanted to see how much uh, how, uh, the voltage that is providing to my telephone okay let's do this now and the in is here and, and as soon as I put this in here, it has to turn on. And as you see, it's just providing 9 volts, 1.6 uh, amp to my phone. And is is all good. And if I use another sort of cable, let me see, I have another one of these. So we are going to the USBs. Just put this there and now put this here. Thank God that they have invented the type C because these USBs that you know it just makes you confused which way up it's doing it and I wanted to know all of these uh, micro um, the type C and the type A USBs are they capable of providing 9 volts or not that's why I purchased this to just be sure apart from that you can uh, you know, check the phone that is doing a fast charging or a slow charging or wall charging. If it says fast charging, it means it is 9 volts. And this one does 9 volts and the other one, let's see how it does it. It's just more or less the same. But my mobile phone is nearly full. Anyhow, and in, um, and here it just tells you five volts. And that's really it. And these two other buttons, let's see. These are, I think the hold buttons that rotates the screen. And this one is doing the same. So this one has its own limitations, but for my use is okay. And for the price, this, this uh, item is really cheap in comparison to the new one that is in the market. Is, uh, this one is maximum of 17 pounds. And if you uh, purchase this from China, maybe you can find it uh, even cheaper. But uh, 
there are other ones that they are going above 40 pounds or even 50 pounds that it has the Bluetooth. This one comes with a Bluetooth uh, model as well, but this one is just a normal one. It doesn't have any Bluetooth because it's uh, surplus to my need. So if you want to have all of those details, uh, the one with the Bluetooth, uh, you can uh, um, download uh, an app and that in that app you have um, far more settings than here that is uh, cramped into one smaller screen so i didn't need that and the uh, the one with the bluetooth is about 25 pounds under 25 pounds so by all means i uh, recommend this for those people that they just want to know uh, let me just put this aside because the star of the show is this item that it comes with this and this uh, only this one if you want to purchase this is about two pounds up to five pounds and the quality of this is not bad at all so now uh, as i mentioned i recommend this to everyone that doesn't expect a lot from the uh, tester usb tester Anyway, I hope you like my video and until my next video, take care of yourself and each other and as always, have a great time. OCD attack. OCD attack. Bye.